Here is a Sudoku AI I have programmed. It's currently hard at work trying to solve the Sudoku on the screen. But why does it keep changing the numbers it has already written down? And why are some numbers yellow and others green? It almost looks like the AI is just trying to guess the solution. Certainly no sane human being would solve a Sudoku this way. But even though the strategy looks pretty strange, it does eventually solve the Sudoku. Before we explore how this crazy strategy works, let me show you how fast the AI actually is. Here I have loaded a Sudoku, and when I press the solve button, the AI will find the solution. For this demonstration, we will not see the steps taken by the AI. It will just solve the Sudoku as fast as possible and show the final result. Okay. Are you ready? That was pretty fast. In fact, it only took 0.14 milliseconds on my 5 year old laptop. For reference, the average blink of a human eye is around 100 milliseconds. So the AI could solve this Sudoku more than 700 times during an average blink. But this Sudoku is not hard to solve. It's categorized as easy in the book it comes from. Let's try to solve this Sudoku, which is in the medium difficulty category. 0 0.15 milliseconds. So that didn't seem to make much of a difference. Okay, let's try one more. This Sudoku should be really hard. It's the final Sudoku in the book I have, and it's in the devilish category. Ready? Well, it was a little bit slower than the other two, but still lightning fast. I've actually used the AI to solve all 132 Sudokus in the book, and they all took less than one millisecond to solve. Here at the bottom, you can see that it took 26.51 milliseconds to solve the entire book. The average time for one Sudoku was 0 0.2 milliseconds. This means that the AI can solve around 5,000 Sudokus in one second. Now we have seen how fast the AI is. But how does it work? I will explain the AI's algorithm using this Sudoku as an example. Obviously, the AI must write down a number between 1 and 9 in every empty square. So for each of them, it creates a list containing the numbers from 1 to 9. These lists of possible numbers are then reduced by looking at the squares which already contain a number. For example, this square contains a 5, so 5 can be removed as a possibility from all squares in the same row, column and 3x3 three three subgrid. Similarly, because this square contains a 6, it can be ruled out from all of these squares. The AI repeats this process for all the squares containing a number. This greatly reduces the lists of possible numbers in most squares. At the end of this process, there may be squares where only one possible number remains. In our example, this square can only contain 7. So the AI writes that down. The green color indicates that it's for sure correct. Now the AI can rule out 7 as a possibility for all of these squares. This leaves two new squares with just one possibility. So the AI picks one of them, writes down the only possible number, and rules it out for these squares. This step is repeated over and over again. Eventually, the entire Sudoku is solved. That was pretty straightforward, right? Are all Sudokus really that trivial to solve? No, they are not. Only the easiest Sudokus can be solved this way. The one on the screen is from the beginning of the Sudoku book I have, and it's labeled easy. Let's see how the algorithm fares against a more difficult Sudoku. This one is in the hard category. First, the lists of possible numbers are created and then reduced like we saw before.
After that, there is a square with just one possible number, 8. But after writing it down and reducing, there are no squares left with just one possible number. Before I tell you what the AI does in this case, let's consider how a person would make progress from here. They would probably use some logical reasoning. For example, in this 3x3 three three subgrid, no square contains 9 yet. But 9 cannot be in the middle column because that already contains 9. It cannot be in the rightmost column either. And finally, it cannot be in the middle row. Based on that, we can conclude that 9 must be the correct number for the top left square. You can see the same thing by looking at the lists of possible numbers created by the algorithm. Only the list in this square contains 9. People also use more sophisticated strategies. For example, take a look at these two squares. The only possible numbers for them are 1 and 4. It's not easy to say if one should be in the top square and 4 in the bottom or the other way around. But one of these scenarios must be true. So we can rule out 1 and 4 from all other squares in this column and in this 3x3 three three subgrid. It is certainly possible to program Sudoku AIs which use these kinds of strategies. But this AI does something completely different. It simply picks a square with the fewest possible numbers and then essentially makes a guess. My implementation tries the smallest number first, so it picks 1 in this case. The number is written down in yellow to indicate that it's just a guess. But assuming 1 is correct, it can now be ruled out from these squares. Now there is only one possible number here, and this continues for a bit. But look what happens now. There are no possible numbers left for this square. When that happens, it means a wrong guess was made at some point. To fix that, the AI must backtrack. It essentially turns back time by undoing everything it did until it gets back to a point where a guess was made. There are two possible numbers for this square. The AI has already tried one and that didn't work. So 5 must be the correct number. Now there are no squares with just one number. So the AI picks one with two possible numbers and makes a guess. This results in a series of squares with just one possible number. So they are picked one by one until the algorithm must eventually make another guess. This results in a few more squares with one possibility, but then it runs into a problem. It must have made a mistake earlier. So the algorithm backtracks again. Since the AI has already tried 1 in this square and failed, you may think that 7 has to be correct. But that's actually not true. The yellow numbers are just guesses, so the correct number here may already have been ruled out by mistake. It's also possible that 1 is in fact correct, but the algorithm doesn't know that because there is currently a wrong number in another square. Either way, the algorithm will now try 7. If that doesn't lead to the solution, it will backtrack past that square next time. In summary, the algorithm repeatedly picks a square with fewest possible numbers, tries one of them, and if it turns out a mistake was made, then it backtracks and tries another one. As you can probably tell, this would be an absolute nightmare for a person to keep track of. But for the computer, it's not a problem. If I play the rest of the algorithm at a higher speed, you can see that it does find a solution relatively quickly. It is also the only solution. All Sudokus in books, newspapers and apps have only one solution. So let's turn the yellow numbers green to indicate that they are for sure correct. The backtracking for this Sudoku wasn't too bad. But sometimes the AI will make many guesses before figuring out that the first one was wrong. When that happens, 
it must backtrack many times. This Sudoku is the devilish one we saw earlier. Now it's not so surprising that it took a bit longer to solve than some of the other ones. But as you are watching this, just keep in mind that the AI solved this Sudoku in 0.59 milliseconds. The only reason why we are waiting a while is because I am showing you every single step of the algorithm. I hope you have enjoyed seeing how this Sudoku AI works and how surprisingly fast it is. If you are interested in topics like this one, then check out this video as well. Thank you for watching.